Wives and girlfriends of football players have become more and more influential over the years. They're now more vocal and they really don't mind whose toes they step on while communicating their feelings about how their partners are treated. Today, we want to look at some of those vocal wives and girlfriends of football players. Here are 10 wags who have clashed with managers and teammates. Number one, Leah Munro. Leah Munro is Tammy Abraham's girlfriend and back when he was at Chelsea, she didn't really love how her boyfriend was being sidelined, so she let the coach know how she felt on Instagram. Following Tuchel's appointment as Chelsea manager, Tammy began to see less and less game time despite being the club's top scorer that season. Obviously, Leah wasn't happy about any of this, but the last straw was when she found out that Tammy was excluded from the squad for the FA Cup final against Leicester City. She immediately took to Instagram to bash the German boss, saying, How on earth do you make the decision to leave your top goal scorer out of the squad for a final? The same person who even scored the goals to actually qualify for this competition is not making any sense whatsoever. And you have to say that she sort of had a point because Tammy was the joint top scorer in the FA Cup that season and Chelsea's highest goal scorer too. It's bizarre to think that such a person didn't deserve at least a place on the bench. Number 2. Isabel Silva Of course, we already know who she is. She's the wife of the legendary centre-back Thiago Silva and one of the most vocal wags in world football. There are actually so many rants of Silvers to pick from, but we have decided to pick this really funny one from the UEFA Champions League semi-final in 2021. After Werner missed a sitter just about 10 minutes into the game against Real Madrid, Isabel absolutely lost her bits. She went on social media and said, This is karma guys, every time I go there is a striker who keeps missing goals. This Werner, what is his name? She even made a video basically saying, we need a goal, we need to win this match but my attackers don't want to score, I don't know why they don't score. Anyway, it all turned out great for her in the end because as we all know, Chelsea went on to knock out Madrid and then win the Champions League. So Isabel had no problem apologising to and making up with Timo Werner. Number 3. Rebecca Tavares Fabinho's wife is known to always go off on social media. If you're on football Twitter, you've probably come across her rants at some point, and she doesn't care who you are. If she thinks you're being rude or unfair to her hubby, you're going to get it. She goes so hard that Fabinho has had to tell her to calm down a couple of times. He's not so active on Twitter himself, but news always gets back to him about what his wife says, and he just asks her to be careful about what she's posting. Number 4. Wanda Nara of course, she was always going to be in this list. When you hear drama involving a wag, just know that Mauro Icardi's wife will surely be there. In 2019, after Icardi had fallen out with the folks at Inter Milan and left the club, she had a lot to say about his replacement. Inter brought in Lukaku from Man United, and Wanda wasn't so pleased with the Belgian at the beginning. She went on a rant on social media where she said, it would be good to see Lukaku in big games too. He hasn't scored in the Champions League. He'll watch the knockout rounds on TV. The last number nine only scored about 150 goals for Inter. Number five, Vlada Zinchenko. Remember when Man City got knocked out of the Champions League by Lyon? Everybody affiliated to City was furious about that and many had no one else to blame but Pep. Vlada Zinchenko, whose husband was an unused sub in that game, went on YouTube and piled all the blame on the Spanish boss. She said, Perhaps I have no right to say this, perhaps Zinchenko will forbid me, but to put it mildly and in order not to swear, this is completely Guardiola's fault. I mean, she was sort of right, but to hear your wife publicly criticising your boss is a little bit of a shocker, isn't it? Well, that said, Arteta, watch your back. Number 6. Jorginho Rodriguez When Fernando Santos decided to drop Ronaldo at the 2022 World Cup, we're pretty sure he was aware of the risks. When it worked in the round of 16 against Switzerland, all was well in the world, but when the team lost to Morocco in the quarter-final, the world turned on him and blamed it all on him leaving out Ronaldo. Ronaldo's girlfriend, in particular, had a few words for the former Portugal boss. She went on social media and she had this to say. Today your friend and coach made a bad decision. The friend for whom you have so many words of admiration and respect. The same as when you got into the game. He saw how everything changed but it was too late. The best player in the world, his most powerful weapon, cannot be underestimated. 
you can't stand up for someone who doesn't deserve it either. Life gives us lessons. Today, we have not lost, we have learned. Number 7. Jorgelina Cardoso Di Maria spent a year at Man United and it appears that his wife hated every single second. After leaving, she had only the worst things to say about the city. She hated the weather, hated the food, didn't even fancy the women much and she made all of this known in a really long rant about her husband's time at United. Number 8. Maya Nilsson Lindelof Lindelof wasn't really worried about the weather or food in Manchester. What she was pissed off about was the prices of the boxes at Old Trafford. Here's what the Swedish influencer married to the Man United centre-back had to say about the boxes. Here the players have the option to rent the box and I'm not even going to tell you how much but it's a disgusting amount of money and if you don't buy one you're considered to be a loser. Number 9. Eliana Guerco Oh yes, United again and for a completely different reason this time. Eliana Guerco, the actress wife of former Man United goalie Sergio Romeo, once got very mad at United for not letting her husband leave the club. Apparently, he wanted to leave for Everton in 2020, but United kept blocking the move. So she went on Instagram and voiced her opinions. She said, Sergio Romero worked hard for the club. The last trophy they won, they lifted it with him. He helped the team reach four finals and semi-finals and then he was left on the bench, only to lose them all. She then went on to ask that the club respect her husband and let him leave. Well, maybe they listened to her in the end because the following year, Man United finally allowed the goalkeeper to leave the club. Number 10. Anara Atanes Nasri's ex-girlfriend Anara Atanes is a very vocal character indeed. The British Indian movie actor once sent curse words flying to an entire nation when she felt that her man got less than he deserved. This was back in 2014 when Sami Nasri was still playing for Manchester City. Everyone expected that the midfielder would make the cut for France's World Cup squad, but Didier Deschamps had other ideas. Many people did not take Nasri's exclusion so well, but the most vocal about it was Anara. She immediately went on Twitter and threw the F word at France and at Deschamps. She also called him a shit manager. Just to make sure nobody missed the point she was making, she doubled down with a follow-up tweet that said, in case you didn't read my tweet properly, I'll repeat myself. F France. F Deschamps. It was truly no holds barred for Anara. Anyway, who is your favourite football wag? Let us know in the comments and also tell us why. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.